Hello, this is Daniel Martz, and today I'm gonna today I'm gonna be doing a review for McFarland USA. So yeah, this movie stars Kevin Costner, um, Ram Ramiro Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Carlos Pratt, um, Johnny Ortiz, Rafael Martinez, Hector Duran, um, Sergio Abela, Abelar, um, Miguel, m oh yeah, M Michael or Miguel Aguer Aguergo, Diana M Maria Riva. Omar Levia, um, Valent, Valent Rodriguez, Danny Mora, uh, Maria Bello, Morgan Sailor, and Elsie Fisher. Uh, yeah, Elsie Fisher. Yeah, I know. I'm using an, a Spanish accent. That's because most of this, the cast in this movie is like Hispanic, Mexican. So yeah, I'm just saying it. Yeah, like 90% of the cast here is Mexican. Um, so Spanish names. So yeah. Um... So yeah, and I'm pretty sure it has the guy from George Lopez. I forget who the guy who who portrays Benny is also here. Um, I forget his name though. Um, the guy who portrays Benny and George Lopez, he's also here. Um, by the way, he portrays a principal. Um, so yeah. Aside from that, that's basically it for the cast. And now onto the review. But before I get to that, you know, ten seconds of spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch um the movie and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning, as usual, starting now. Oh, okay, so 10 seconds are up, and yeah, the, the guy who portrays Ernie from George Lopez, um, Valent Rodriguez, yeah, that's him, I was pretty sure. Um, so yeah, 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below, or if you're messaging me, then never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. So yeah, McFarland, USA, as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rates. So basically, th this is based on a true story, um, this is based on a true story, and you have this coach called Jim White, um, and he, he's basically sent to McFarland, which is, I believe, right under Nebraska or something like that, or like, New Mexico, Nebraska area, um, from what I read, or California or something like that, and basically he has to train. He has to train the, these this group of Mexicans, um, just to say blatantly, um, this group of Mexicans to run track. Um, so yeah, I mean he has to teach them how to run track so they could get to the finals, and yeah, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. It's really fun. So, I mean, Disney films, yeah, it is a Disney film. Most Disney films, um, they are formulaic, but for some reason, the f I, the, despite the fact that they are formulaic, they always work, in my opinion. And, yeah, you, ha you have Kevin Costner here, who's basically the king of sports films. I mean, you have he's done, what, Field of Dreams, and last year he did um, he did Draft Day, I believe. Um, so, yeah, so I really did enjoy the movie. You know, it has some pretty great acting, in my opinion, from everybody. Um... And, I mean, yeah, overall, it's a pretty great movie. Um, the writing for the most part was pretty good. And I also do like how they evolved, not evolved, but developed the rela relationship between Kevin Costner and, and his teammates or you know, the, his track mates. I really did like how they um, developed that relationship. For the most part, you know, he ha you have him kind of making fun of, fun of the fat kid in the group. Um, also, but on the, the, the delinquent on the group. And, you know, the straight-up Mexican in the group. So, you know, it's pretty fun to see him develop um his relationship with the track mates or track mates um track teammates whatever um yeah now i really don't do track i don't run or anything but you could feel the intensity when when the track um members or um, the you know the runners you do feel the intensity when they're about to lose and when they're about to win so it is very intense in moments especially during the racing which is pretty fun and pretty cool to see i mean it really does make me want to run um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get last place because I'm a fat piece of shit. <laughs> That's basically how it is. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm, last time I went to the doctors, I weighed about 130 pounds, give or take a few, so yeah, I'm a fat piece of shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. Where was I? So, I mean, overall, it's a pretty great movie, again, formulaic, um, so yeah, I mean, like, last year's sports movie, um, Disney's sports movie, which I reviewed as well. Um, what the hell? What was it called? I forgot. But the one with John Ham. How how was how is it that I forget already? Um, uh, it is for me. Like, 
as all hell. I'm not going to deny it. But, I mean, yeah. Now, there are some things that really don't work in the movie. Um, now, yeah, I mean, it's for in, during the racing, not racing scenes, but when they're training from the racing scenes, you have, um, you have him, and he's basically, um, you have Kevin Costner, he's being kind of a douchebag at times, and at, you know, at times, it works, and at other times, it doesn't work. Million Dollar Arm is the one I was thinking of, that's the one from last year, Million Dollar Arm. So, I mean, it is formulaic, just like Million Dollar Arm, which at times, again, it works, and at other times, it doesn't work. Um, one of my the, my major issue with the film is that um, you have seven members in the track in a track group or the track um, track racing group or whatever tra um, track team you have like seven uh, members and you only you only real really focus on four of them like like three three or four of them so you have like half the team half half of the team you care for and then the other half of the team you really don't care for because they really don't develop them that much. Um, so that is one of my major complaints, but everything else I did enjoy about it, you know, the acting was pretty great, and the writing was pretty great, um, I did love the intensity when they were actually doing the races, I thought that was pretty good, um, and yeah, at the end of the movie, you know, like with most true story, uh, movies, based on true story movies, you know, they give you a kind of an update on what happened with each character, um, or, you know, whatever, and you know, that was pretty interesting to see what happened with each one of them, and yeah, most of them stayed in McFarland. And just you know are still doing track and and yeah so overall it's a pretty great movie so far one of the better movies this year so far and i really did enjoy it i will admit though i will admit that before i went into this movie i thought it was another movie um because earlier this year there's um the george lopez movie called same parts or something like that and i actually thought that was going to be this movie um but not nah, yeah mcfarland you say it's like you know they, they both deal with track and you know they're both about racing but you know whatever uh like with the trailers I, I thought they were the same movie or whatever but you know they weren't but i'm not really disappointed about that um uh, and and yeah that's basically it for this review on a scale of one to ten one being the worst ten being the best and six being decent i'd give it a i'd give it an eight out of ten it's a pretty good movie if, you, if i don't say so myself right now it's a pretty good movie and yeah, that's basically it for this review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. Have you seen it? If not, why not? If you have other thoughts on it. And aside from that, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel March signing off.